I'd like to give you an example of just one of my stories, okay? Because I have a lot, and all going to be in a book. But here's one. That, it's, really, it's really special in a number of ways. In 88, I was sent down to Florida to photograph baseball player Wade Boggs, third baseman for the Red Sox back then. Uh, huge player band. I mean, he was like uh, one of the big hitters, man, in those days. And I knew that Wade, and, and I say this, you know, uh, with all res due respect to him, uh, love the ladies. So I felt that to be able to break the ice with him that I should take a young lady with me um, as my assistant. So I reached out to one of the girls that had interviewed for, for Girls of Florida and uh, told her what I was doing. Would she like to come along? Oh yeah, sounds great. Her name is Debbie. Walk up, wait, I'm David Misi, I'm with Playboy. This is my assistant, Debbie. And he's like, oh, wow, hi, Debbie. Like, I wasn't even there anymore. As they're bantering back and forth, I go, you know what, I'm gonna let Debbie interview you. Is that cool, Wade? He goes, oh, she can ask me anything she wants. And I'm like, okay, Deb, you just wanna ask him some questions about playing baseball or whatever. He goes, oh, I don't wanna talk about baseball. Let's talk about something else. And, she, and he is just like all over her. And I'm like, got him. So then I start shooting. And so she's leaning against me every once in a while in the back and gets his vision coming toward me a little bit. So I'm shooting, 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 shooting. So she just works him over like a cheap suit. So as, as we're getting to the end, I go, hey, I, wait, I think I, I've got what I need. And he's like, man, I wish I was you. And I'm like, what? He goes, let's trade places. I'll photograph a Playboy Playmate or even Debbie here. And then you... Uh, warm up with the, with the Red Sox, play with, uh, warm up with us maybe before we do a practice game or something like that. I said, um, uh, well, I, would you think the Red Sox would let me do that? And he goes, I'll talk, to, I'll talk to the organization. You talk to Playboy. You get me into Playboy, I'll get you, I'll get you into the Red Sox. At Playboy in Chicago, every Monday morning was a, a morning meeting where everybody in the office was there. It was basically what we're doing for the next week. Uh, the director of photography, a couple of makeup artists, the photographers. So it's about a dozen people. Gary looks at me and goes, hey, how'd it go with Wade, Wade Boggs? I go, well, it went really well. He wants to do a trading places thing. And, and Gary's like, he wants to what? He wants me to play for the Red Sox during a practice. And then he photographed a playmate. And he's like, Wow, that's a great idea. Let me run it up the flagpole at legal and we'll see what happens. A couple of days later, Gary walks up to me in the hall. He goes, better start practicing. And I'm like, what? Legal said it's fine. As long as you don't break a leg, and even if you do, it's okay, you'll heal. I go to my office, first person to call, great buddy of mine that I had met during the time I was down in Florida doing Girls of Florida. And it was, his name is Lou Maggio. He's also a high school baseball coach. So I called Lou, I go, Lou, you're not gonna believe this. What, what, what? I tell him the story. Of course, first thing he does, he starts laughing on the phone. He goes, I know Wade. He went to high school down here. Um, how much time do we have? I go, well, they want us to do it on a practice game, but I don't know. He goes, no, season, uh, season's gonna start pretty soon. So you're gonna have to do it before a real game. Now things are getting really crazy. But I go, let's, okay, let's just, Get me to where I can even do it. He goes, okay, here's what we're going to do. Give me a day. I'll call you tomorrow. Let me work on some things. So he calls me the next day. Okay, I've got it wired. We're, we're good. When can you get here this coming weekend? I've got, I've got something for a couple of weeks. I think I can get you into shape in two weeks. I fly to Florida, picks me up. In the car, he tells me, look, uh, George Steinbrenner owns one of these resort hotels down along the coast here. Uh, I've arranged for you to be an injured reserved player for the next two weeks, just re rehabbing at, at the hotel. So it's, it's, you're not gonna cost anything. I'm like, do they know I'm not a, a Yankee? He goes, we're not gonna say anything. You're just gonna be a ball player. I'm like, okay. He picks me up, we go to the field. Well, first off, he goes, we're just gonna get your arm going. So for that day, I was just throwing and not as far as third, from third to first yet because Okay, all you guys out there that think you're ball players and you can make that throw from third to first, I want to see you do it. That across the field shot is a, is a whopper. 
Anyway, so I'm working on my arm, getting it better, 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 better. Then we start working on my batting, uh, working on that, step and hit, step and hit, step and hit. We're doing that for the first two or three days of just basics, 101. So my first throw to, throw to third hit about 10 feet in front of first baseman. It bounced, he got it, but they, uh, nope, that, it's got to go to the glove, my friend. And I go, I know, I know. <laughs> I get to my room, my arm hurts bad. I call Lou. I go, man, my elbow is hurting so bad. He goes, okay, here's what I want you to do. Go down to the ice machine, fill an ice bucket, and stick your elbow in it. I'm like, what? I saunter down. I'm still in the uni full uniform. I'm dirty, uh, dusty, and I walk down. And I get the ice in it, and as I'm walking back, a man and his little boy were walking up to the elevator, and the little boy sees me out of the corner of his eye, turns and looks as I'm walking slowly back to my room, and I see the little boy looking at me, and he goes, Daddy, Daddy, is that a real baseball player? And his, and his, yes, son, that is. And so I stop, and I go, hi, how are you? And the little boy's like, big-eyed, just what you would think. The kid was probably eight years old, seven, seven, eight years old. It was amazing, and he was just, I, to him, was a pro ball player, and he was meeting me, and I, I reached out with my sore arm. I reached out and I said, nice to meet you. And the, and the dad says, shake his hand. And so he shakes my hand and they get on the elevator. I go in, I sit down and, and I was icing my arm and I'm thinking that was just an incredible moment. And I was talking to my friend last night about this and I said, I so wish I could find that little boy now. He's probably in his thir late thirties, maybe 40. Um, and tell him, you know who that guy was? That was me. That baseball player you met that night, that was me. The day comes, we're in Chicago. Um, Wade comes to the office first. So we have a playmate for him who wrung him out like a rag. But she did some poses that lit him up. And, and she goes, do you like this pose? All demure and everything. And he's like, oh yeah, I love it. Oh, Wade, you gotta take the picture. Oh, all right. And he starts flashing and flashing and flashing and flashing and I'm like, and I noticed that he wasn't turning the focus. I go, well, stop, Wade, Wade. You need to focus the camera. Otherwise, it's going to be a, oh, that's right. And he just starts shooting again. Doesn't focus. He just shoots. Not one photo that he shot was in focus. So anyway, I change into my uniform, which Lou had arranged for me again. He had gotten me a, an official home field Red Sox uniform, which is white. On the back of it is my name with a bunny. Um, big bunny on the back. What, we, what he didn't realize was that we're, he, they were playing an away game, which is their gray uniform. So I show up in white home field at Comiskey Park, and I'm out there at third base, and they're hitting the balls to me, and I hit, and I throw to third, and they throw it around, and I'm literally, I'm, and I'm just having this insane moment. I'm, on a, I'm at Comiskey Park, old Comiskey Park, the original, Chicago playing with pro ball players for the Red Sox. And I'm just like, it's an out of body experience. So when we're, uh, we're going to, I'm going to go in and hit now. So when the, the shortstop runs over and he goes, hey, you're doing a pretty good job, man. Did you, did you play ball back in the day? And I'm like, high school, dude. My moment was when they were hitting fungo and they hit a ball pretty hard down the inside of the third base. And I was able to backhand glove it taking a couple of steps beyond third base, hurl it, and it went to first. Loved it. Uh, don't ask me to ever do it again, because I think my arm went on that throw, but it was pretty amazing to be able to do a backhand grab and throw it to third base. Lou, Lou being Lou, uh, if anybody remembers the movie The Natural, uh, they presented him with a bat that said Wonder Boy on it, I think is what it said. And so... Lou had brought with him what appeared to be a gun case, opened it up, and it's a bat emblazoned with Wonder Boy on it. So I took it down into the dugout, back into the um, shower, back into the dugout area, and had the Red Sox players all sign it. And that is above my mantle in Las Vegas right now. Along with the other bat that's up there is the bat that I used during my, my two weeks of practice. So that's one of my stories. And it will be in the book as well, but for all you people, all you people that would like to invest, you've already, you've heard it from me, from the horse's mouth, so to speak.
So um, I look forward to sharing all the others that are out there, that, all those other stories. So join me and partner with me and let's make this book happen, please.